Chernobyl has been the subject of many predictions and speculations of hundreds of thousands of dead. Now, nearly 20 years down the line, the death and environment toll is less than feared. 4,000 of the most exposed people may eventually die from radiation exposure as a result of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster, said the summary of a two-day Chernobyl forum. The forum, held under the auspices of the International Atomic Energy Agency, has brought together nuclear health and development experts who finally reached a consensus on the legacy of the worst civilian nuclear accident in history. Well, I think it, 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 it tells people what the, the numbers really are, that the, there's, there's no speculation in that. There is some uncertainty in the values, but it's, it's very close around the 4,000 mark for cancer deaths, and, and the other speculations are just not valid. Fewer than 60 deaths have been directly attributed to radiation. Almost all highly exposed firefighters and rescue workers carved in stone in this monument who died within months of the accident. Some 4,000 cases of thyroid gland cancer have been recorded since the Chernobyl disaster, mostly children and adolescents up to the age of 18 at the time of the accident, but the survival rate has been almost 99%. The forum has agreed that the largest public health problems were psychological effects and misconceptions about the threat of radiation, resulting in paralyzing fatalism among the residents of the affected areas. The forum has recommended to shift programs away from just paying benefits to creating opportunities for development, particularly in the rural areas that degraded due to social and economic depression. And what we advocate is at the national level, uh, policies that Really, we advocate in all three, three of the countries generally policies that encourage investment, that encourage the formation of small businesses, particularly in these areas of small family agricultural businesses. While some areas remain highly contaminated and restricted, the majority of previously contaminated land is considered safe for use and life. The nature healed its wounds and wildlife proliferated, particularly in the restricted areas. Now that consensus has been reached on health and environmental consequences, the people of Chernobyl can move on with their lives. With IAEA and UN Television, this is Vadim Mushkin reporting for CNN World Report.